Hey, welcome to another video. So today the plan was go outside, go for a run and explain this topic to you while I'm running. But guess what? It isn't possible because, well, look what's outside. Yes, exactly. The one time I want to go out to film a video this summer, it has to rain. But I have to get the video out for you guys, so it's still gonna be the old format of the video in my room over here. So you have to deal with it. Okay, so put you guys here and turn the light on. Okay, let's go. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about why you should stop listening to music while you go for a run or do any kind of exercise, basically, like at the gym or something like that. You may be asking, why should I stop listening to music? It's just a little thingy in my ear, just I'm gonna listen to some tunes and it's gonna be all right. At times just going to go faster and I'm going to be in a better mood. So guess what, I tested this for you and I pretty much didn't really mean to start this habit of like not listening to music while I run because what am I, a crazy person? Not listening to music while I run. One of the toughest activities that I have to do and I'm not listening to music, which makes it a lot easier. Well, it started all because I forgot to charge my phone and I went for a run without any music. And let me tell you, this run took like three times as long as normal runs do. But I'm making a video about it, so it has to have some benefits, right? Yeah, it actually has. Some people on YouTube and some blogs that I found actually went deep into this topic, why you shouldn't actually listen to anything while you run or do any like hard physical activities. When you listen to music or you listen to some kind of podcast, uh, your brain just gets occupied with the thing you're listening to and just tells the activity to be the second thing and you just go through the motions and through the motions like in the gym. People who don't actually think about what they're doing in the gym don't get as much growth as those who actually think about the muscle moving. Like Arnold said, just imagine yourself being in a muscle and do every single action slowly and you need to think about all of the actions that you are actually doing with your muscle to get extra growth and to really build that mind-muscle connection that you need for flexing your muscles better and thus growing them better. So when you don't listen to anything at all, your brain basically has all of the space it needs to think about your body, how it moves, all of your muscles, it gives you signals and you just become more self-aware of the situation that you're in. But with like everything else in life, this also has its negatives because, well, you can't listen to music and you like the that music of course and your brain now has to concentrate on the activity that you're doing that means your time is going to go by slower and by slower I mean a lot slower especially the first few times you do this time and the whole run and the whole exercises are going to go so slowly and you really need some strength in your brain and some self-discipline to keep going and not to give up not to turn the music on or anything else just keep going go through the whole exercise exercise till you reach the end. So you may ask yourself, what is actually the benefit that I get from this? Like 5% extra gains from the gym and nothing while running, just being self-aware and being cool that I don't run with music, being special again. Well, yes, but you also gain the self-discipline in your brain and just the mental toughness of not listening to any music and during the whole exercise, while it also takes twice as long for you, just in your brain, it doesn't actually like a 15 minute run won't take you half an hour. It will take you the same 15 minutes, but you're gonna comprehend those straight 15 minutes, like if you were counting each and every second of it, at least the first few times. And while getting started, hopefully after watching this video, the first few weeks, I would recommend for you just starting to do these habits once in a while. So let's say you run five times a week, then one of those days or two of those days even, you go for a run without any music. And the next week, you up that time by, let's say, two and a half times. That means in the middle of your run, you can turn on your music if you really want to. Or you can do it and make that three days a week. But I still would recommend for you that you stick to at least one day of the week with some music. So let's say that you run about 20 kilometers each week. That means the first four days, you're gonna run like three kilometers. That makes 12. Oh, great math, right? 
And on those runs, uh, you are not going to listen to any music whatsoever. But on your last run, which is the big 8 kilometer run, which you need a bit more motivation to finish, you're gonna turn on that music and make it easier for yourself. But from the other days of the week, you're just going to get some exercise of your mental toughness that is going to move you forward. And eventually, you're even going to endure the whole 8 kilometer run, which now seems impossible without music, without any sound whatsoever. And hopefully this is really gonna make you strong up here so you can endure anything that comes into your way. Okay, so this is gonna be it for today and please let me know in the comments below what you think about this format of video. Like if you would like something more professional like all of my other videos that are more scripted and stuff or you would like this approach which is kind of more freely handed. I didn't have a script, I was, I was just thinking about the stuff and I wanted to share it with you. So let me know in the comments below and please, if you would like to see more of this content or you have any more ideas, let me know also and subscribe while you're down there.